Hello class, welcome to another art lesson. Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another art lesson combining science and reading and math and writing. Today we're going to continue talking about the oceans and this magnificent ecosystem, this habitat and of course we're going to be talking about beautiful colorful fish. Today we're going to draw one of the characters from the movie Finding Nemo, you know there was a clownfish in a blue tank fish. This time we're going to learn how to draw a clown fish. And to do that, we're going to continue using geometric shapes from math and organic shapes from nature to get us started and to achieve a very good sketch that will guarantee a better finished artwork at the end. And having said that, I want you to get ready and grab your favorite art supplies. We are going to do just fine with color pencils and markers and crayons if you have any available. Sometimes an eraser will help as well. And move on to sketching our fish, our clown fish. And again, we start off with uh, uh, geometric shapes and we make sure that we have all the proportions right and we can delete and fine tune here and there before we start moving into the details. This is the part in which we get to work on the organic shapes and to outline our fish um, because we're already happy with the, uh, the overall idea and, and proportions and dimensions that we achieved using the geometric shapes so that's why we move on to uh, having a better understanding of our entire artwork using um, the outline and of course organic shapes. Once you're happy with this level of details, it's okay to start moving on to the next part, which is adding color and shading our fish. There's plenty of orange and yellowish areas around uh, the beautiful clownfish, and of course areas that are white. I just forgot to do that part right there with white, but I'll come back and do it. I'll come back and get grab some white and do it for that little band. Uh, in the mid-size of their uh, body. So I'll do it right there after this, right there. I think I forgot to do this part. So I'm going to add some white in here and correct the other ones and the other one that I forgot back over here and at least I have an idea now of uh, the overall, you know, uh, shapes and shading and colors for my clownfish. Start doing the shading part with a darker uh, orange, in this ca case almost brown. This is what we call value. This is one of the elements of design. We start going from bright colors to darker versions, shades of the same color. And that will add some volume and of course um, um, more realism to the uh, fish.
white is a very reflective reflective I should say color and uh, every time we are drawing from uh, anything from nature we could see that um, white reflects the colors that are surrounding uh, in the surrounding areas I should say so in this case with the the clownfish uh, we have noticed many times that we look at the fish that this white areas also reflect the bluish colors and 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 purples of the water so it will be okay to uh, not just leave this area just plain white but add a little bit more of that uh, reflections and a little bit more of that realistic uh, look that we will achieve by understanding how this process goes. Leonardo da Vinci was one of the best ones at understanding this and he taught us in every single one of these pieces of artwork and paintings that there is a great connection between the atmosphere, between um, the, the area where the subject is at and the actual subject so it doesn't look like a cut out piece of uh, of an element but also uh, but, but mostly a, a an element that is surrounded by an, um, an ambient light that somehow affects also the, uh, the subject if you're happy now with the um, shading and colors that you have been adding to your fish I would say it's time now to get started on the outline and adding those accent uh, dark lines uh, that the fish has. I'm going to start off with, even though they're mostly black, just to be safe, I'm going to start with a dark brown shade and then from there build up to the black one. So there's a little bit of a, a shading, there's a little bit of a grading, there's a little bit of, of value added to the fish.
And it's time now, I would say, to start raising, deleting, cleaning uh, certain areas that we do not uh, need anymore. Um, sections and, and traces of, of the sketching part. Um, and, and that will allow us to end up with a cleaner um, artwork at the end. There are lots of areas that were more, mostly guidelines for the entire drawing that we do uh, no longer need. So I usually suggest find a way to create a workflow that allows you to delete, erase those lines. For me, it is time now to start working a little bit on the background. I want to add a very light color blue to the background. That way, uh, it doesn't compete with the details and and the complexity of the foreground. In this case, the fish. So for me, this watercolor type of light blue in the background will be perfect. I think it looks just great. Now it's time for some details. At this level, at this level, it's time to get started on certain details, in this case the eyes, um, and make sure that work on them and we add a little bit of a, a detail to this section as well. I think I'm very happy with what I see. I like the details that we were able to 
accomplish and and I think I'm ready to also maybe just add my signature to it right over here Ta -da 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 -da. oh no I forgot to work on the mouth I can't believe this boys and girls I signed my artwork but I forgot to work on the mouth And that's all for now boys and girls I hope you had a good time learning how to draw a clownfish and I hope that you can find this lesson useful for your future drawing adventures I'll see you next time